turn to your next blank page in your journal, put today's date at the top, put a complete title, which is lesson 3-3, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Here are the steps we're going to follow today for adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Step one, we are going to add or subtract the fractions. And remember, if we don't have a common denominator, we have to find a common denominator first and write our equivalent fractions before we can complete step one. Step two, we're going to add or subtract the whole numbers. And our last step in every fraction problem is always to simplify. So let's do some examples together. Number one. Question number one says six and five eighths plus three and one eighth. I want you to notice that my denominators are already equivalent, so I don't have to find a common denominator. It's already been done for me. So notice this is an addition problem, so I'm going to add the fractions. Five eighths plus one eighth is six eighths. Next, I'm going to add my whole numbers. Six plus three is nine. And my last step is to see if I can simplify. Well, I know that both six and eight are even, so I know I can simplify by twos. So six eighths simplifies to three fourths, but don't forget to include your whole number. So nine and six eighths simplifies to nine and three fourths. Now my numerator and denominator are one away. So I know my answer is in simplest form. Let's try a subtraction problem. We have two and three fourths minus one and one fourth. Notice my denominators are already the same, so I can start my subtraction. Three fourths minus one fourth is two fourths. Now let's subtract our whole numbers. Two minus one is one. My last step is to see if I can simplify. Well, both of my numbers are even, so I know I can divide by two. So one and two fourths simplifies to one and one half. My numerator is one, so I know that my answer is in simplest form. Once again, don't forget to include your whole number over here with your simplified fraction. Example number three. Eight and seven ninths minus five and four ninths. I would like for you to pause the video, try this one on your own, and when you're ready to check, hit play. Okay, let's check your work. Did you notice that your denominators were already the same? That means I didn't have to find a common denominator, so I can subtract, it's a subtraction problem. So seven ninths minus four ninths is three ninths. Now subtract my whole numbers, eight minus five, is three. My last step is to see if I can simplify. I know that three divides into three and that three divides into nine, so I can simplify by threes to get three and one third. I know one third is in simplest form because my numerator is one. Now let's see how it works if I do not already have a common denominator. So let's look at question number four. Number four says one and three fourths plus two and one half. Notice that my denominators are not the same, so I'm going to have to find a common denominator for four and two. So I can count by fours, count by twos. Two, four. I can stop because I already have a multiple in common, which is four. So my common denominator is going to be four. 
Now we need to find our equivalent fractions. I know that four times one is four, so three times one is three. Two times two is four, so one times two is two. Always look to see what operation you need to use, and it is addition for this problem. So three-fourths plus two-fourths is five-fourths. Now we add our whole numbers. One plus two is three. Now we need to see if we can simplify. Notice that I have an improper fraction. So that needs, uh, means I need to change it into a mixed number. So four divides into five one time. One times four is four. I have one left over. My denominator stays the same. So now I have three holes here. I have another hole here that I need to combine with my other holes from over here. So I'm going to combine the whole numbers. So three holes plus one hole is four holes. I bring my one-fourth down. One-fourth is in simplest form because my numerator is one. Let's try another problem. Number five. Number five, I have three and one-fifth plus five and three-fourths. Notice, I do not have a common denominator, so I'm going to have to find a common denominator. So I'm gonna count by fives, and I'm gonna count by fours. I know that all of my multiples of five have to end in a five or a zero, so I'm gonna start with four. four 8, 12, 16, 20. I'm to a number that ends in 0, and I know if I count by 5's, 5 times 4 is going to give me the 20. So my lowest common denominator is 20. Now it's time to write my equivalent fractions. So 5 times 4 is 20, so 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20, so 3 times 5 is 15. Check your operation. It's addition, so I'm going to add 4 20ths plus 15 20ths is 19 20ths. I'm going to add my whole numbers. 3 plus 5 is 8. Next, I see if I can simplify. Well, I know that 19 and 20 are 1 away. So that tells me that my fraction is in simplest form. So 8 and 19 twentieths is my final answer, and it's in simplest form because my numerator and denominator are one away. Let's try number 6. Number 6 says 3 and 3 eighths plus 6 and 2 thirds. Notice I do not have a common denominator, so I know I'm going to have to find one. So I'm going to count by eights and count by threes until I find a multiple they have in common. So three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. I know that if I count by eights, I will get to twenty-four. So let's show that. Eight. 16, 24. So my common denominator for 8 and 3 is 24. Now we need to write our equivalent fractions. 8 times 3 is 24. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 8 is 24. So 2 times 8 is 16. Check your operation. It's an addition problem, so I'm going to add 9 24 plus 16 24 is 25 24. Now I'm going to add my whole numbers. 3 plus 6 is 9. 
My last step is to see if I can simplify. Well, I notice that 25 24 is an improper fraction, so I know I need to change it into a mixed number. So 24 divides into 25 one whole time. 1 times 24 is 24, so that would leave me 1 left over. Denominator stays the same. 1 24th is in simplest form because my numerator is 1. Now, don't forget to combine the 9 holes and the 1 hole to get 10 and 1 24. I want you to try number 7 on your own. Hit pause. When you're finished, hit play again to check your work. Okay, let's check your work. We had 1 and 1 half plus 3 and 7 tenths. Your denominators were not the same, so you had to find a common denominator. I know that if I count by 2's, I will get to 10 because 2 times 5 is 10. So I know my common denominator is 10. Now I need to write my equivalent fractions. 2 times 5 is 10, so 1 times 5 is 5. 10 times 1 is 10, so 7 times 1 is 7. I check the operation and see it's addition, so I'm going to add. So 5 tenths plus 7 tenths is 17 tenths. Next, I'm going to add my whole number. 1 plus 3 is 4. Once again, I notice that 17 tenths is an improper fraction, so I need to change it into a mixed number. So 10 divides into 17 one whole time. 1 times 10 is 10, so that leaves me 7 left over. Denominator stays the same. I know that I cannot simplify 7 tenths any further because 7 is prime and will not divide evenly into 10. Don't forget to combine your whole numbers. So you should have got 5 and 7 tenths. Two more questions. Number 8 says, how far will Clara travel if she rides a bus from school to the library and then home? So she's starting at the school. She's going to go to the library, which is 4 and 5, 6 miles away. Then from the library, she's going to go home, which is three and one eighth miles away. So to find out how far it is from school to the library to Claire's home, we're going to have to add four and five six plus three and one eighth. So let's do that. Four and five six plus three and one eighth. Notice that my denominators are not the same so I'm going to have to find a common denominator. So I'm going to count by sixes and count by eights till I come to a multiple they common. So six, 12, 18, 24. And I'm going to stop because I know if I count by eights, I will also get to 24. Eight, 16, 24. So my common denominator is 24. Now we need to write our equivalent fractions. 6 times 4 is 24, so 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 3 is 24, so 1 times 3 is 3. Check your operation. We are adding 20 24 plus 3 24 equals 23 24 Let's add our whole numbers. 4 plus 3 is 7. Now let's check to see if we can simplify. I notice that my numerator and denominator are 1 away, so I know that I cannot simplify any further. Notice it is a word problem, so I have to be sure to label my answer. So it's 7 and 23 24 miles. Don't forget to label on every word problem. 
Let's do one more problem together. Number nine, Alice ran 10 and 3 fourths miles on Monday. On Wednesday, she ran 9 and 1 fifth miles. How much farther did Alice run on Monday than on Wednesday? My keywords, how much farther? Remember when I have the words how much or how many, followed by a word that ends in ER, it's always going to be a subtraction problem. So I put my largest fraction on top, so 10 and 3 fourths minus 9 and 1 fifth. I do not have a common denominator, so I know I'm going to have to find a common denominator. So I'm going to count by fours, count by fives, until I come to a multiple they have in common. Since I know all multiples of five end in a five or a zero, I'm going to start with four. four 8, 12, 16, 20. I know that 5 is a multiple of 20 because 5 times 4 is 20. So my lowest common denominator for 4 and 5 is 20. Now we need to write our equivalent fractions. So 4 times 5 is 20. So 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20, so 1 times 4 is 4. Check your operation. We are subtracting on this problem. So 15 twentieths minus 4 twentieths is 11 twentieths. Now subtract our whole numbers. 10 minus 9 is 1. Next I check to see if I can simplify. Well I know that 11 is prime and it will not divide into 20, so I know that my answer is in simplest form. It is a word problem, so don't forget to label. So Alice ran 1 and 11 twentieths miles farther on Monday than Wednesday. Turn to the next blank page in your journal. Divide your page into eight equal boxes and you need to solve your independent practice problems in each box. Have them ready to check first thing in the morning.